Hey, what's happening? It's Nick from Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at some special Dallas Cowboys edition Lucases. So these are not my boots. These are my nephews. He went and bought them a week ago, and he was gracious enough to let me borrow them for this video. So at AT&T Stadium, they have a Lucchese store there that sells a bunch of Dallas Cowboys branded Lucchese items. And I don't know if the contract has run out or if they're just doing like a yearly closeout and going to get a bunch of new models in, but they put everything on clearance for some really cheap prices. I know a lot of you in the Dallas-Fort Worth area heard about this and have taken advantage of this sale, but I want to go ahead and take a look at these. Now, as best I can tell, this is pretty much an 1883 Mad Dog Goat boot, which clicking around on the internet, they retail for, you know, $350 to $500. And he got these at an amazing price of $168. So what do you say we take a look at them? intoxicating leather smell that's my favorite smell in the world man now I don't know if y'all can see it but I apologize for my messy desk I've been working from home and this office is just a disaster right now all right so the first thing you notice is the big Dallas Cowboys logo on the front of the boot shaft and a nice is that it looks like a black shaft with navy blue stitching on it and then of course a little overlay on the pull tabs. It's goat skin, so it's really soft. I really like this, and I love this color, this kind of tan color. It's kind of like an antique tan finish on it. And it's got a box toe, which is almost like a wide snip toe, really. It's got a full single stitch welt. The stitching goes all the way around. There's no brass pegs or wood pegs. It's got a rubber heel cap that's glued on. It's got a nice stack leather heel. I mean, overall, it's a really pretty boot. I really like it. The sole and heel are black to match the shaft, which looks good with this tan color. So it's leather lined, and I'll be honest with you, it's not a smooth leather. It's, I mean, it's not a rough out, but it's definitely not smooth. It's got exposed seams inside the shaft, but they're done really well. They're very small and very tight. I don't see it being an issue rubbing your legs. It's got a full leather insole with a little bit of foam padding in it. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then it's got an extra piece of leather right on the heel. That end is just glued on there, and that ends right, a, you know, right before the arch of your foot. So the logo looks good. It doesn't look as good as if it was, you know, made by a custom boot maker. But for a boot in this price range, it looks really nice. It's tight stitching. It's pretty clean looking. My nephew is a Lucchese fan. He, uh, he normally wears a 12B in Lucchese's and they didn't have any of those. So he got an 11 and a half D that fits him pretty good. And um, he's gonna use this as like an everyday boot. You know, he's got some Lucchese Caymans that he wears a lot. And he wants to wear these just every day for running around. I like it. I didn't go over there and look and buy a pair simply because my wife and I are not cowboy fans and I didn't want that logo on my boot shaft. But I considered it. I considered it heavily. Like I said, these go anywhere from $355 to $500. So he bought these at 168 which is a great deal for a really nice quality goatskin boot. Now one thing I do notice, along the front of the boot right here, you can see the stitching is a little uneven. 
but these are made in Mexico and I believe they're handmade. So that's to be expected. And it's not like it's bad where, you know, you'd really ever notice it. It looks nice. I mean, this, it looks like a handmade boot, you know, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, the Casey calls these handmade, but I don't think there's any way that was done by hand. You know, that was done with a machine and this stitching on the shaft was done with a machine, whether it be a sewing machine or a laser stitch machine. I mean, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. If I had to guess, I would guess that that logo was done by a laser stitching machine as well. I mean, it's just, it looks too good. So all in all, I mean, I really like this boot. I'm not gonna try these on today because they're not my size and I don't wanna end up stretching these out to give them back to him since they're wider than what he normally wears. I know that probably wouldn't happen, but I don't wanna take the chance. He's really proud of these. But I have tried on Lucchese's before and I've tried on the 1883's and they're, to me, they're very comfortable. That little bit of foam in the insole gives you just a little bit of cushion, but it still kind of gives you the feel of a hard leather insole. It's gonna mold to your foot pretty well. Um, the arch on their soles is really comfortable. You know, some boots, it'll feel like there's a big hump right here, and you don't get that in Lucchese's. This is a nice boot. He got it at an amazing price. These definitely get the Lone Star stamp of approval. So another thing, you can't buy these on sale online. You have to go to the store. So if you're interested, if there's still any available, which I don't know at the time that I upload this video, if there will be, but you need to call the store and ask them before you head over there. I know when he bought these, they still had a lot of them, but they didn't have his size, so they're probably out of other sizes as well. So make sure you call and ask about availability before you head over there. Hey, if you own a pair of 1883s, and especially if you own a pair of these Dallas Cowboy Lucases, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of them. I think it's a pretty nice boot, especially for the price, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. That's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for everybody who subscribed and everybody who watches this video. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.